Mind your decisions, I'm Presh Talwalkar. In quadrilateral ABCD, BC is equal to CD. Angle BAC is equal to 3X and angle BCA is equal to X. Then angle CAD is equal to 5X and angle ACD is equal to 3X. The question is to solve for the value of X. I thank Juansi from Peru for the suggestion. I had posted this problem on Twitter, requesting people send me their solutions. I thank everyone who answered. I want to specifically thank at Luis and R. Romero too, who provided a detailed solution that helped me provide the answer in this video. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. I will present a numerical way to solve the problem, and then I will give a mathematical proof. A numerical approach gives us a practical way to estimate the answer. We can construct a quadrilateral with a specific value like x is equal to 6 degrees. We then construct a circle centered at C with the radius equal to BC. We then vary the angle x until we get BC is equal to CD. This happens at exactly one value, and that value will be x is equal to 10 degrees. This answer may be good enough for practical purposes, but to be 100% sure, let's go over a mathematical proof. We have this quadrilateral, and we will construct BD. Let's take a look at triangle BCD. It will be an isosceles triangle, and the angles opposite the equal sides will be equal to each other. Suppose each angle has a value equal to y. We then notice that these two angles both have a value equal to 3x. This means that AB will be parallel to DC. Therefore, we must have the angle ABD equal to the angle BDC. This means angle ABD is also equal to y. From here, we will repeatedly use Althusi's law of sines. First consider triangle ABD. We have that the sine of 8x over the sine of y is equal to BD over AD. We then consider this triangle, and we have sine of y over the sine of 4x is equal to BC over BD. We finally consider this triangle, and we have sine of 5x over the sine of 3x is equal to CD over AD. Now we recall that CD is equal to BC, so this ratio is also equal to BC over AD. From here, we'll take a look at these first two equations. We'll multiply the first equation by the second equation. We can cancel out the sine y terms, and we can cancel out the BD terms. This simplifies to be sine of 8x over sine of 4x is equal to BC over AD. But notice, this is exactly what the third equation is equal to. Therefore, we can set these equations equal to each other. We end up with the following equation. Let's simplify from here. We'll use the sine double angle formula on sine of 8x. It simplifies to be the following. We can thus cancel out the sine of 4x terms. From here, we'll simplify this equation and we get 2 multiplied by sine of 3x multiplied by cosine of 4x is equal to sine of 5x. From here, we can simplify the equation using the product to sum formula. We'll let a equal 3x and we'll let b be equal to 4x. We substitute these values into the product to sum formula and we simplify to sine of 7x plus sine of negative x is equal to sine of 5x. Sine of negative x will be equal to negative sine of x. We can then rearrange this equation to solve for sine of x. Then, negative sine of 5x is equal to sine of negative 5x. From here, we will use the sum to product formula with a equal to 7x and b equal to negative 5x. Substituting into the formula, we get 2 multiplied by sine of x 
multiplied by cosine of 6x is equal to sine of x. From here, we can cancel out the sine x terms, and we get 2 multiplied by cosine of 6x is equal to 1. This means cosine of 6x is equal to 1 over 2. Since we want x to be an angle in a triangle, we want a limit to values of x between 0 and 180 degrees. Therefore, we can solve that 6x is equal to 60 degrees, and therefore x is equal to 10 degrees, and that's the answer. It's an incredible trigonometry problem. Thanks for making Mind Your Decisions one of the best channels on YouTube. See you next episode as we continue to solve the world's problems one video at a time.